Winter Solstice, December 21st. Yes, December 21st. It's 4 p.m. right now and it's getting dark, like dark, dark. It's the darkest day of the entire year. And not only that, it is pouring rain. Uh, it's been pouring rain for the past few days. And I mean, we live pretty much in the center of British Columbia, Canada. There should be snow. There should be a lot of snow and the snow we have is melting. It's been a very warm winter so far and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be a very white Christmas. On the plus side though, I mean, Christmas is almost here, so we're gonna have that joyous occasion. Um, the biggest thing for me is that all the stress of the season is going to be out of the way, finally. We were out and about doing some running around earlier, some groceries, and oh my God, how absurdly stressful was that? Well, I think the most stressful was grocery shopping, and I sat in the vehicle while you did that. Yeah, that wasn't even fair. <laughs> I was watching the dogs. Okay, you got a point. But it seems like everyone's just running around wild right now, trying to get everything done, last minute shopping, making sure the Christmas baking stuff is all together, and it just makes everything hectic. And I mean, we're guilty a bit too, because we were out shopping as well, so we're no different than anyone else. But yeah, I'm really happy that we are at that valley, that peak of darkest days. The chaotic Christmas is almost over. Um, as soon as the New Year's hits, things should just be uphill. I'm not saying that Christmas or New Year's is bad. It's just, it's stressful. And it's a heavy time for a lot of people with emotions or depression or, you know, not having family or money is massive too. So I think after the New Year's, things will be on the up and up for more, most people. But I'm not vlogging here just to kind of rant and rave. I'm also going to be making apple crisp. I've never had a recipe for apple crisp in my life. It's actually kind of a funny story. So the story goes back to high school and I know I'm being a little bit bitter, but it's where it goes. I always love any sort of art class. So I was in art, I was in uh, like drama acting class um, and I was in foods class, home ec. And one foods class, we were tasked with coming up with a dish um, and cooking it in class, right? But the catch was the dish, you had to have a recipe for it. Spoiler alert, I didn't have a recipe. I did, however, make a really, really good blueberry crisp that I just made. I didn't know how to, how to make it. I've never made a crisp before. I've seen my mom make it once in a while in the kitchen. I just like, hey, I think I know what's in it. You get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You mix it together, you bake it, and boom. So I did that. I made a really good blueberry crisp. The teacher tasted it and was like, oh my God, that's really good. Like, where's the recipe so I can mark you? And I was like, I don't have a recipe. She's like, well, what do you mean? I looked at her and told her, I don't have a recipe. I mean, I do, it's in here. I can write it down for you. And she got so mad at me, I got a zero and failed that, that, that course, that delicious blueberry crisp that I made. I failed because I didn't copy someone else's recipe and I used my own creativity to come up with it all on my own. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. Do you remember my crisp? <laughs> Nicole actually ate some of that crisp in high school. I saved it and I brought some for her to try. Do you remember it? Pressure's on. Was it blueberry? It was. Okay, then I do remember. Do? And I think it was in like a little basil Tupperware thing. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Hell it was yeah. good. It was like so good. So and, good. And ever since then, I've been making crisps, apple crisp, blueberry crisp, you name it. And I've never followed a recipe. I just used my own recipe. Your noggin. That was up here the whole time. Mm -hmm. So to that teacher, self. Well, Ben's doing this. He's making apple crisp because tomorrow we have our staff Christmas party, I yes. guess, you know, as solopreneurs. Um, so I- Self-employed staff Christmas party. As entrepreneurs, yeah. So I have a notepad and a pen because we are doing a secret Santa at our Christmas party. So let's um, let's see who we, who we draw. Okay. I have all our names in here. We have Ben, me, Ripley, and Honey. Yeah, and we're not allowed to get ourselves, so no. we have to put it back if that's no. the case. Okay, so who are you gonna get? I'm gonna draw for Ripley right now, okay? Okay. So this is well, Ripley. We gotta let Ripley draw. Does she have thumbs? <laughs> I don't know if she has thumbs. So if, I get, if I'm pulling Ripley here, I gotta put it back. Okay. 
Okay, it's Ripley. It's Ripley. I gotta put it back. Okay. Okay. This is Ripley's for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm drawing for honey. Okay. Okay. Okay, so are you drawing or me? I'm mixing right now. Go for it. Okay. And again, we can't get ourselves. Okay. So then I'm left. So this is this is who I have. Okay. Done. Staff Christmas party is happening tomorrow, so it's it's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. And we gotta go shopping for said Secret Santa gifts. We do. But I'm gonna get making the crisp. We got a hockey game that's gonna happen here in a minute. Um, I'm gonna cut past all this. I'm just gonna show you the finished crisp. How's the final that? delicious product? Yeah, skip all the B-roll. Just the finished product. But don't worry, I will be telling you how I make it, so. So as I said, there's not a written down recipe, but it's sliced apples, a little bit of sugar on top, a little bit of cinnamon, mix. Then you get your oats, and you want one quarter of your oats of brown sugar. And then butter to, I just kind of go with what works. I pour some butter in it, melted butter, and then a little bit of flour to help stick and clump it all to together. And that mixture goes on top. Bake it at 350 until the apples start to bubble and then let those apples bubble for another 10 to 15 minutes and then take it out and rest. That's been my recipes for the last 20 years. And now you know. It's a terrible recipe. <laughs> the fuck you just say? I was like, that's a tear. That would be such a hard recipe to follow. Well, that's what I follow. Okay. Well, let us know if you figured it out. Nicole's just over here hating, I guess. But that's my recipe. Uh, we now have apple crisp for our employee Christmas party tomorrow. For the employee of the month? For the employee of the month. Who is it? Me? Me. Uh, that's up for debate. Maybe we'll have to vote on it. <laughs> But anyways, we'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow at our Christmas party.